Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we're gonna do the gaming performance test of the new Micromax uh, in one. So Micromax in one is the latest smartphone on announced in India, and this comes with uh, the Helio G80 Octa-core processor. And uh, we'll be uh, trying out uh, the gaming test of this uh, device. So this device has a uh, uh, 4 gigabyte RAM as well as 6 gigabyte RAM variant. So we have the 6 gigabyte RAM. So we'll just go to settings and I will show you about phone. So we have the Micromax in one and uh, Android version is 10. So that's the Android version and uh, let's uh, also see the RAM. So here we have the 6 gigabyte RAM mentioned and uh, we'll be testing the gaming performance with uh, the Helio G80 Octa-core processor. So that's the processor which is powering this device. So before starting the test, uh, you can see that now we have around a 97% uh, battery. So there you go. 97% battery right now and we'll be playing two games we'll also check the battery right or rather the temperature right now so 30 degrees is the temperature i mean uh, the temperature on the display so there you go and the back panel uh, here it's a uh, 31 degrees 31.8 uh, so almost uh, less than 32 degrees that's the temperature next let's uh, measure after the gaming so let's uh, play uh, the two games asphalt 9 and uh, uh, cod mobile and see how much battery drain happens and also the heating uh, on this device so let's get started
So now we are done with uh, asphalt uh, 9. Let's see the temperature. So you can see that now it's around uh, 38 degrees on the back panel. 38.4, uh, that's the temperature. That's the maximum so 38.9. So no overheating happening as of now. Let's see the display as well. So display is around 40 degrees max, uh, almost close to 40 degrees. Uh, let's see a bit more closer. So it's around 40 degrees max. Uh, Still not a major concern, you can see here 40.1 towards the selfie camera area, but still not a major issue. So that's the temperature after Asphalt uh, 9. Next, uh, talking about Asphalt 9, uh, we felt that the gaming experience was quite average. Uh, we could see a lot of status happening uh, while playing Asphalt 9. Again, um, uh, the kind of experience uh, you expect in a budget segment, that's definitely there on this because it's more of a budget uh, smartphone with the Helio G80. Uh, Helio G series are known for gaming on a budget. Here uh, you could see some stutters and frame drops happening. But again, uh, no lags whatsoever and uh, you could definitely play with uh, like moderate uh, graphic settings. Next, let's move on to uh, COD Mobile. So let's see the graphic. You can see here medium and high is the one available. So not more than that medium and high so we'll go with the high frame rate and medium quality uh, to see how the performance is so that's what we're going to do so let's get started with the gaming
is coming. So now we are done with uh, COD mobile. Let's see the temperature 43.4. So you can see here 44 degrees on the back panel. Uh, uh, it's still on the higher side, but not a overheating actually. 44 degrees uh, is the back panel. And uh, the display, let's see how much it has gone. So again, uh, 43. So less than 44, it seems 43.1. So maximum would be like uh, 44 degrees on the back panel. Uh, here you can see that near the camera area, it's 44 degrees. So that's the maximum temperature. So overall we would say uh, COD mobile actually played quite well. Not a bad performance actually. Uh, so it's quite uh, uh, quite a decent performance altogether we would say. Now the graphic quality again, it's uh, more or less acceptable. You won't get higher graphic quality, but still uh, we would say we were able to play uh, quite decently well for the budget segment it is being offered. So it's, it isn't bad actually the gaming performance. It's kind of average I would say for the price segment, uh, the 10,000, around the 10,000 price segment it is kind of average. Uh, again, uh, no lags we didn't see. Uh, there were frame skips and uh, status but then uh, again uh, you can't expect a very high performance uh, in the budget segment. Now the battery is like 10 percentage uh, drop um, uh, in around 40-45 uh, minutes of gaming, uh, around 10 percentage drop. That's kind of very good actually, not much of a drop happening, 45 minutes, just 10 percentage drop. So that's uh, quite okay. So that is the gaming performances, uh, heating and battery drain on the Micromax in one. So overall we feel uh, for the price segment it offers, it is decent performance and uh, it won't be disappointing for most of the users. It, it does not have a powerful GPU. Uh, so that you get a higher graphic rate, uh, graphics and uh, frame rate, but still it's a decent performance all around. So that's it for this video. This is Normal signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.